sometimes you come across something so quirky and so unusual you've just got to get one and this my friends is one of those so what is it well it's a hot air engine and it was manufactured by Davies Charlton Limited on the Isles of Man. Now Davies Charlton were probably better known for the abbreviation of DC and they made uh, the miniature diesel engines for airplanes and things like that. But th this was made on the Isles of Man so geographically speaking if you want something uh, what is probably made in the most remotest part of the world what could manufacture something like this this has got to be one of those all right let's, uh, let's have a look what's under the hood right I think I'm gonna have to just right well first off uh, a set of instructions very nice and inside here we have the absolutely stunning hot air engine so let's have a look at it see if we can get this camera a bit better in focus right so there she is absolutely beautiful and in absolutely stunning condition these these are so unusual to see going because they're absolutely silent they make no noise at all this is the spirit burner quite a nice item very very thin very thin, thin for a, a spirit burner so you've got no water no steam it just moves it's just hot air engine so it, at its most basic level it, uh, it it's just it's just powered by hot air and cold air meeting each other and forcing each other apart which turns these twin flywheels now these are notoriously difficult to actually get going and until I, until I managed to obtain a copy of the instructions I had problems in getting this going, I couldn't get it going and I know lots of people have got these and they can't make them go. So one of the problems was that on the actual box it says that this will run on a match. So people naturally thought that it's quite simple, you know, you'd fill that with, with methylated spirits and away should go. You know, if it can be powered by a match it can be powered by methylated spirits quite easy and well you'd, you'd wait you know you wait a few seconds and you'd spin these and it wouldn't go and so you'd, you'd hang on a minute still wouldn't go two minutes wouldn't go three minutes still wouldn't go so you naturally think that it didn't work and uh, it's a problem but according to the instructions the very first thing you've got to do before these will run is you light your methylated spirits burner and you've got to leave it just leave it sat there for, for at least four minutes to warm the whole engine up and nothing will happen for at least four minutes until it's warmed up so that was one problem and the second problem is is the timing it's trying to get the timing set up right well all these when they left the factory as it says in the instructions the timing was set perfectly and never needs to be altered but if you if you did happen to move the flywheels and you need to alter the timing how'd you do it well according to the instructions uh, which might help a few people if you've got one of these and you can't get it going you turn the flywheel so they're facing you you move your right hand flywheel till this crank here is at 12 o'clock the crank on this side on your left flywheel should then be at to nine o'clock and if you set it to that that's your timing set up perfectly 
so to set that timing you would have to adjust set, set these up and then you'd adjust your flywheels uh, on their on their axle to to get the timing set correctly so I did all that uh, oh, also you must oil all the moving parts with it says with a sewing machine oil which is a very light oil uh, I did that and put the mess burner under left it for four minutes uh, gave it a sharp flick on that which is clockwise by the way and away she went and these run for about uh, 20 minutes on one of those full of mefs so you get a nice nice amount of run time and uh, just one, one unusual thing here is if you look at this part here it's actually very similar to the uh, the DC um, diesel engines so you can see where some of the inspiration has come from with these cast alloy uh, sections here if what else can I tell you about it they are absolutely beautiful things when this is going it is, it is absolutely silent and you've got no steam and no water absolutely beautiful to watch going and you get a 20 minute run these this section here looks a bit cheap it looks a bit plasticky but the entire engine is made of metal these are cast metal according to the instructions uh, your fence posts here are all brass well the actual fence posts are brass but these here aren't they're wire some kind of steel wire but apart from that it is all metal construction these canopies are always portrayed as being red uh, in effect I think originally these would have been blued using uh, you know gun blue rather than paint I'm sure they would have been gun blued um, but as I've never seen one in mint condition I don't know this is about as close to mint as I've ever seen one the other unusual things is is what it tells you on here he says in the instructions mothers it says mothers not need to worry basically about the children because it's absolutely safe and there's no danger from steam or boiling water absolutely safe I don't think they get away with that today uh, in today's mad world with the health and safety because although there is no hot water and there is no steam they are quite a dangerous item because these are full of methylated spirits and it's boiling hot in there when that gets going so there is a danger of a uh, fire um, so I don't think they'd have got away with that in today's crazy world but basically all it says in here is oil all the parts oh the other thing is just to make sure you get a good a good run on it is the wick for this it needs to be one quarter inch high that's what it says on the instructions to get the optimum run you want a wick of one quarter inch high leave it for four minutes to warm the engine up oil all the parts and give it a quick flick clockwise on that flywheel and you'll get a good 20 minutes run absolutely beautiful items absolutely lovely I am going to do another video of this actually running uh, when I've got a bit more time so you can see what it's like so uh, so that's it for now just a quick video and I hope everyone who's watched this I hope you all enjoy it and uh, thank you very much for watching.